welcome to today's session. So today we are looking at question 9 from the 2021 grade 12 mathematics paper 2 prepared by the examination council of Zambia. And the question leads, answer the O of this question on a sheet of graph paper. A traditional drinks dealer stocks two blends of drinks, blend A and blend B both of which are produced in bottles of the same size. He wishes to order flesh surprise and finds that he has room for up to 900 bottles. He knows that blend A is more popular and so he decides to order thrist twice as, twice as many bottles of blend A as B. He wishes, however, to have at least 100 bottles of Blend B and not more than 700 bottles of Blend A. Question A. Let X be the number of bottles of Blend A and Y the number of bottles of Blend B. Write four inequalities representing represent the information above. To represent the information above. So we know that X is for A, then Y is for blank B. So we can summarize this information. So we have highlighted the key one. So what is important is understanding this question. This is one of the simplest questions in at grade 12 exams. So if you understand what is happening, you get this question so easily. So let us go through again. And as we'll be going through, we'll be formulating the equations. So a traditional drinks dealer stocks two blends of drinks, blend A and blend B, both of which are produced in bottles of the, the same size. He wishes to order flesh surprise and finds that he has room for up to 900 bottles. So in total, he can only get a maximum of 900 bottles, not more than that but 900 or less. So in that case, we know that X is blend A. So the number of blend A plus the number of blend B, which is Y, cannot be greater than 900. So it cannot be up to 900. That's why I'm saying X plus Y should be less or equal to 900. Okay? Then, uh, if we look at The second sentence, he knows that blend A is more popular. So blend A is more popular. And so he said to order at least twice as many bottles of blend A as blend B. Okay, twice. So number two, what we can tell is blend A, they are more. They are more by how many times? Twice. So, if you buy one bottle of blend Y, you need to buy two bottles of blend X. That's what it implies. Okay? That's what it implies. So, what that tells us is, basically, the number of blend Y that we buy, which is type B, should be at least, if you buy one bottle of X, then you should buy half of x for y. So if you buy two bottles of y, then we need to, two, two bottles of x, then we buy one bottle of y. That's what it implies. So in that case, what we know is y, in this case, first is equal to half of x. So each time we buy one bottle for, for x, we can only buy half of y. So if you buy four bottles of x, then we buy two of y at maximum. So now, at least, so I say at least as twice. So meaning, what this t tells us is basically, y is less than, less or equal to half of x. That's what it implies. Or what this tells us is 2x is equal to, or 2y, 
2y is equal to x. So each time that we buy 1x, okay, for this to be equal, you need to buy 2 of y. Okay, so what it tells us is we divide by 2, so it means y is just half of x. That's where that is coming from. Okay, so let us go to, we've done two inequalities, let us go to inequality number 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 four so equate number four says he wishes the, the other part he wishes however to have at least 100 bottles of bland b and not more than 700 bottles of bland a so at least 100 bottles of bland b bland b is y so bland b is y so if you see y bland b so we say number three so y should be at least greater or equal to hundreds. So y should be at least hundred. Then bland A should not be more than 700. So bland B, which is now x, number 4. So x should be less or equal to 700. So this is what ET implies. So x cannot be more than 700. The maximum it can go is to 700. So then, this is how you get this for max. Then, part B. Using a scale of 2 cm to represent 100 bottles on each axis, draw X and Y axis for the length X is greater than 0, greater or equal to 0, but less than or equal to 900. Then Y also the same range, which is greater or equal to 0, but less or equal to 900 respectively and shade the unwanted region to clearly indicate the region where the solution of the inequalities lies okay so let us start drawing these so what you notice here is let us start with this one okay this one tells us y should be at least greater than 100 so y axis is along this so we come, this is 100, 100 is somewhere here, which is half. So we draw this line using a ruler nicely. So this is where we're saying y is greater or equal to 100. And y should be above. So we shared the unwanted region is the one which is below. Okay, somewhere there. We shared. Then we come to this one. x is less or equal to 700. So x maximum is 700. So we go to 700, 700 is here. Then we draw this straight line somewhere here using a ruler. So this should be a straight line. Then we shall shade the unwanted region, which is the above is not what we want, want the one which is below. So this equation is basically x is less or equal to 700. Okay, so done two. So let us go to the, the first one, which is much more easier. So x plus y is equal to 900, is equal to or less than 900. So what it means is when y is 0, x becomes 900. So when y is 0, x becomes 900. So it's somewhere here. Okay. Then we should remember this is bland b. A of the bottle, then this is bland b, which is x, y axis. Then similarly, when x is equal to 0, here y will become 900 so it's again up to here so now what we need to do is to join this line using a ruler we join them this line something to be something like that then what we are saying is x plus y should be less than 900 so if i come here to the origin which is 0, 0 i put x 0 plus 0 is surely less than 900 so the region that i want is down the region that i don't want is as above so i'll shade this region like this so we shade this region above, and this is basically x plus y is less or equal to 900. Okay, so we substituted to test. So we have this region. Okay, then lastly, what you are saying is this equation is basically equal to the same as we are just saying y is equal to half of x. So when x is equal when x is equal to 200 
y is basically half of 200 which is 100 so it's this point then when x is equal to basically let me say 600 600 when x is equal to 600 then 600 times half is 300 so y is equal to 300 so it will be somewhere here you see in here then you can use your ruler and draw a straight line to join these points beautifully using a ruler you get something like this so this is y is less or equal to half of half of x okay I'm saying half of x so it will be beautiful like that then what we want is want to shade unwanted unwanted region so the unwanted region in this case so again you test one point so if I pick a point here somewhere here, which is in this case is 400 comma zero, so I put x to be 400, then y should be zero. But if I put 400 here, what it means is 400 times half is 200. So is 200 less greater than zero? Yes. So the region that we want is below, not above. If you pick the region above here, in this case, y is 4, 400 x is zero. What is telling me is I'm going to a 400 is less than 0, which doesn't make sense. So basically, what we are looking for is this. The unwanted region is a region above. It's the one that we don't want. So we have this. So basically now we have this is the wanted, wanted region. Remember, this is the wanted region like this. Okay, so basically this is how you answer part B. Then let us go to C. See, given that the point, given that the profit on the bottle of blind A is uh, three quacha and on bottle of blind, on bottle of blind B is two quacha, find the number of bottles of each brand that gives maximum profit, then the maximum profit. So again, let me just create space, I create space. So that we should be able to formulate this. So we need to make an equation, a profit equation. So we've already plotted these inequalities. So there is no need. So I can lab them. So that I have enough space for me to demonstrate what we are trying to achieve. Okay. So. Let us. When. This one only tells us. Eh? For every x that we sell, we get that. So profit in this case is equal to. Uh, 3 multiplied by x then plus so 3x plus then for y is this one which is 2y so this is the profit function so now when you are looking for the maximum profit and this question is always there you look for the further if this is a positive function remember it's addition function there is no subtraction you look for the furthest point to the origin so the candidate the first one is this point here I'll call it point here zero here then you have this point then this point it's unlikely that any of this point here close to the origin will be the candidate unless you are minimizing minimizing the cost but you're maximizing if you're maximizing the feathers is the best so now let us pick but again you need to look at which one where do you get the biggest profit here is in this case from x is r than y so the combination that is likely to give you that maximum is the one which has more of x on average so if you come here this point is basically this is 700 comma 100 so when x is number one when x is equal to 700 so it will be three times 700 at that point plus a y is basically two times 100 so our profit will become uh, 2000 100 plus 200 so we are just going to get 2300 quacha as profit so at this point we have basically 2300 quacha as profit okay and that point is basically uh 100 or 700 comma uh, 100 then let us try another point let us try another point want to try another point in this case let us try another point so the next point that we are trying to try now is 
The next point, which is basically at this point, so the, at this point we have 200, 700, 200, 700. So profit there is becomes 3 multiplied by 700 plus 2 multiplied by 200. So what we get is basically 2100 plus basically 400. So we are getting basically 2500, which is other than the previous. So at this point, this point, we have this point we have 2500 question as profit. Let us look at the last one. The last one, which is the furthest clear point from the origin. So the first furthest point from the origin, which in that case we are looking at 600 comma uh, 300, 600 comma 300. Okay. So 600 of blank A. So three times 600, then plus a uh, two times uh, we have 300 of bottle Y blend B. So we have 1,800 plus 600. So what we get is basically 2,400, which is higher than this one, but less than that. So if you notice here is we have 2,400 at here, which is lower than that. To come here, this is even worse. We have 200 and 100. So if you put 200 here, it will be just 600. Plus, if you put 100 there, it will be 200, which will just give us basically 800. So from here, we can see that the one that gives us the maximum profit is this point, this point here, which is basically uh, 700 of bottle, blend A, then again is 200 of blend B. This gives us the maximum profit. What's the maximum profit? 2,500. So the maximum profit is 2,500, then... The the, the 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 bottles is should buy 700 of a blend a then 200 of blend b to get that maximum so this is how you answer this kind of a question thank you for joining us today